how do you assess uh, how her, you know, the season didn't, didn't end the way you guys want. How do you assess the whole season? Though? Um, positives and negatives. Uh, you know, I think this season, the season, the MLS regular season, went actually very well up until I think the last five games. I think that's where we kind of shot ourselves in the foot about getting into the playoffs in a, in a really good position. Um, I think uh, if we get a, a home game, it, it's possibly a, a completely different story. Um, you know, you, you sprinkle in um, winning the Open Cup, which is a, a huge positive. Um, but yeah, I, I, think, I think overall we had a very good season um, up until those last five games. Get so many new guys coming in this year and meshing with the veteran core. You think just having one more preseason and one more off season <coughs> to, to kind of get even more entrenched in the system. Is, what's that going to do next year? It's it's going to help for sure. You know, the the longer you're you're in with the team and um, you know getting to know the system and and everyone being on the same page, the, the better. That's that's uh, that's kind of the obvious part of it, but. Um, There'll be new pieces as well, like like every season, um, and we're we're gonna try to get better as a team and um, use the off season to to get physically ready for the season, and then preseason to to kind of hone uh, hone our style of play. So um, yeah, it'll be uh, it'll be good for the guys that have been here, obviously, and then uh, bringing the guys along who are new as well. You see anybody this year that would exceed, really exceeded your expectations, and maybe somebody who's poised for a breakout next season. Um, you know, I I, I kind of go back to to what I said before about just having we we had a we had a good season. Um, you know, guys, uh, lots of guys stepped up um, on, on certain occasions and um, had good years. You know, you look at. Uh, Newcomers; um, those are the easiest ones to to really have the uh, not shock value, but like you, you, they come in and you don't really know what you're going to get. But uh, guys like Jerso had a, had a really good year. Um, Latif came in and, and contributed very well. Um, had a lot of young guys, especially up up the field. Um, Daniel had had a, had a big impact this year as well. Um, but it's uh, it's you know it's going into next year you you, you want to see those guys who, who came in and, and did well to really step their game up again and, and continue to grow as players. They're they're all very young guys. Diego as well um, <clears throat> really stepped up big uh, about halfway through the season um, when you when you got on the field and um, it's about <clears throat> continuing the the growth of. of of yourself as a player, and um, really looking forward to seeing what those guys do next year. And as much of an honor as it is to play for the U.S. Men's National Team, you missed some key games. You and Matt, even Benny, missed some key games down the mm -hmm. stretch. Is that that's going to be hard for you? I would say just kind of sitting back, knowing that they need you here, you know, sure. for an MLS Cup run, but yet you're representing your country. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's never fun or, or easy missing games. Obviously, if if you're in with the national team. Um, it, it's an easy decision. You're, you're going to go represent your country, um, but uh, but like I said, it's 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 not fun, you know, sitting in a hotel room watching the games um, and missing out. Uh, some of it's just unfortunate with uh, with MLS playing through international breaks, um, but. Um, but we had guys who, who came in and, and stepped in and, and, and did really well. Um, but yeah, you just go back to uh, it's it's not fun missing games. Is it's it hard even tough? You don't have that control. Like you're not here helping. Or maybe if you're there, you and Matt are there. Maybe you guys win some of those games. Maybe uh, it's out of our control, like you said. Is it even tougher with what happened with the national team, where you, you go and, and you <laughs> you don't you don't qualify and then to, to not being here to. To, to contribute on the stretch as well. Um, those are for me. That's kind of two two entirely separate things. It's 
it doesn't make it harder because we didn't qualify. Not qualifying is is hard enough in itself. Um, obviously, we took that extremely hard, and it's uh, um, it was a tough situation. But um, but yeah, missing out on, on club games, it it, it stinks. So it's how, not how difficult was it turning the page from not qualifying to then turning back to MLS? Well, you kind of keep those things separate. Um, for me, it's it's. Uh, you know, when, when you get called into the national team, you kind of flip the switch and you're, you're focused on that. And then as soon as that's done, you, you can you can come back and, and focus on your league play. So uh, you kind of keep it separate. Hey, Graham, the last few years we've, we've seen this sort of a late season slide. What, yeah. what do you attribute that to? Um, that's a good question, Sam. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm not sure. You know, it's – it's uh, for me. I think uh, a lot of it can can be be a mentality. Um, you know, for whatever reason, we we've we've had that dip late in the years, and um, you know, maybe maybe we've we've looked at uh, past years too much and and um, seen what we've done and, and let that affect us. Um, I think moving forward, we we have to realize how important those last five games are, uh, especially with the positioning in the playoffs, um, and really make a, a strong push to, to not let it happen again. Physically, you, you know, you're getting older, obviously. Mm -hmm. You've been through a couple of those national team cycles and through U.S. Open Cup and all this stuff. How did you feel at the end of the year? And is it you feel different now than you felt four years ago when you went through all this stuff at, by the time you got to the end of the year? Um, actually, I felt better this year than I have in probably three or four years physically. Um, I, <laughs> it's funny, uh, you know, at, at the end of, at the end of years and in, in the past, um, you know, you, 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 your season ends and you're like, okay, I, I need a break. This year, it was not even close to being the case. Um, I, I, I wanted to come in here and, and continue to work out and um, yeah it was it was it was pretty disappointing just because I, I felt like I had so much left in the tank still. Roger said something very similar. I guess when you, when you look at the way you guys play and how yeah. much energy it, it requires comparatively to other teams in MLS, it seems like well maybe late in the year you guys are getting tired. But it's a, two different two different. I don't. Issues there. You know I I think people might have a, a semi skewed view on on how much energy we actually exert um you know with, with us having so much of the ball you know I, I think it's other teams that are exerting more more uh, energy than us so um yeah we we can we can certainly press teams but i, I don't think the level of exertion is is you know off, off the charts compared to other teams I, I don't think that's the i don't think that's the issue at all you look at other countries, the domestic cup winds up about the same time as the regular season. Is there any kind of a psychological value to doing it that way instead of having the domestic cup final a month before the, the season ends? Sorry, I didn't, I didn't well, catch the is, first is there, part is there of kind of, question. In most countries, the domestic cup Perfect. winds up about the same time as the regular season, maybe even after the right. end of the regular season. Is there a psychological value to doing it that way instead of having such a big moment a month before the end of the season? Um. I don't know. I'm not, I haven't done it the other way, so I wouldn't know. Is there is there any kind of a letdown after Open Cup? Maybe even even unconscious? No. I, I think you saw that with how we responded after that after that cup. We came in and and played extremely well against LA and, and won the game. So I, I don't think so at all. Well, Graham, in past seasons, I mean, you've been one of the goal scorers, and now you transition to right back, playing more of a defensive role. Down the end of the stretch, did you feel? Kind of like helpless, or like you weren't you weren't able to contribute maybe as much as you could have if you were playing more of an offensive position. No, and and I think I disagree a little bit about me being a, a goal scorer. Um, <laughs> if you look at my stats, I, I, that's not really been my forte. I think I've always been more of a guy who, who sets things up, and I had more assists this year than I have in the past few years. So. Um, I think my my efforts and, and um, my my ability to get forward from the back this year probably better than in my past few years, to be honest. U.S. 
is going young for that Portugal game. Is this kind of a, a waiting game now to see who comes in as the coach and what they do in terms of roster, in terms of the veteran guys? Yeah, I mean, I you know, I, I obviously they're 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 bringing in some new faces for this game, but um, you know, if uh, if I'm sure they'll want some some veteran leadership in this game as well. So we'll, we'll, we'll see uh, who, who's in with that group. Um, yeah, obviously it's it's going to be interesting to see how, how U.S. soccer approaches this year. Um, uh, national team for me is still very much, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I want to be part of that group. Uh, there's no question about it. Um, so uh, my views uh, don't change at all. Uh, you know, obviously they'll they'll be wanting to name a coach here in the near future, and um, you know, all I can do is is keep my head down and, and continue to to get better as a player and, and make it difficult for them not to bring me in. Do you have any thoughts on how U.S. soccer should approach it? <laughs> no, that's not my uh, that's not my bag. A lot of people talk about Peter possibly sometime being the the U.S. coach. Which what one? sort of coach would he be for that job? I I think he'd be a good coach. You know, I th he's he's proven to be a extremely good manager here in, in MLS, and um, <clears throat> his style of play, his attention to detail, his uh, his ability to to get the the best out of his players, um, you know, I, I'm sure would would transfer over to the the national team level. Zeus, we've seen you in the office the past couple of days. <laughs> what are you doing now with that at the offseason? What are your plans? Um, you know, I, as much as I didn't want to take a, a little break and, and, and get the body back to, uh, I guess I, I said before, it, it's still at 100%, 100% but um, as much as you don't want to, you do need to, to kind of recharge the batteries a bit. Um, so this first week, uh, really didn't do much at all. Um, did a little bit of... Uh, Cross training, did played some pickleball and stuff like that. But um, uh, this 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 next week is where I'll kind of start getting back into the gym. Um, a lot of weight stuff in, in the first probably uh, three four weeks, and then um, get back on the cardio in probably December and um, just get ready for for another preseason.